There's no mythology about Elisa Lam. There's no mythology about the Sissel Hotel. It's reality. This is this is like a hotel from hell. Yeah, well, she's slipped into the mythology uh, unwittingly. Uh, you know, now she's a part of the the mythos of that place forever, and uh, it's it's sad or it's uh, ironic. Like she used to write uh, a lot about the internet. She would blog a she lot. She was on social media yeah, a lot, she was, right? She was on Tumblr. She loved Tumblr, and she used the internet uh, to help her with, with her depression. She f- felt a sense of community with the internet. And so there's it's kind of a grim irony that she now kind of lives forever on the internet as this morbid horror meme. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it is sad. It's a sad case, and sometimes that gets kind of covered up in all of the, the weirdness is that, uh, you know, she was just like a – had a – a lot of promise as as a writer as as a person and it's sad that she didn't get a chance to you know resolve you know i mean everyone is a little confused at the age of 21 and uh, a lot of people are suffering depression and bipolar disorder the very stigmatized illness and so it's very it's sad that um you know her life got cut short in such a absurd way even though we don't even fully know what happened 